Huntington's disease is named after Dr. George Huntington, who was a physician in Long Island, New York. He was in contact with families affected with the disease, and based on his observations, he published the first detailed description of the disease in 1872. Huntington's disease is a neurodegenerative hereditary condition. Huntington's disease mainly affects a region in the brain called the striatum. The striatum has several parts, including the caudate nucleus and the putamen. We know that other parts of the brain are touched as well because the brain of a person affected with Huntington's will shrink through the course of the disease. This is called atrophy. In general, the disease affects the person on three levels. Motor movement, cognitive learning and decision making, and psychiatric emotions and personality. These symptoms are described in further detail in other videos. Huntington's disease is a progressive condition. However, the progression is slow and on average the disease will progress over a period of 10 to 20 years. Huntington's disease affects men and women equally. Affected individuals are found on every continent and from every ethnic background. The number of affected persons varies from one place to another, but it's estimated that about one out of 10,000 people is affected with this disease. Most affected individuals are adults. Symptoms generally appear between the ages of 35 and 50. However, the age when the disease appears is variable and symptoms may occur earlier or later in life. It is estimated that about 10% of affected individuals will develop symptoms after the age 60. Symptoms of the disease may present in children. This is the juvenile form of Huntington's disease. It is estimated that about 10% of all affected individuals are children and are under the age of 20. Huntington's disease follows an autosomal dominant transmission. This means that the disease affects men and women equally. That every child born to an affected person has a 50% risk of inheriting the defective gene and of one day developing the disease. Sometimes there is no known family history, such as in cases of adoption. This may also occur when a family member has not been diagnosed with the disease or has been mistakenly diagnosed with another disease, such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. This may also occur because the affected person died before symptoms of the disease appeared. Huntington's disease may also be caused by a new modification or mutation of the gene during fertilization. In 1983, researchers located the genetic region associated with Huntington's disease. Ten years later, they identified the gene responsible and they discovered the exact mutation. This gene was named HTT and the protein it produces was called Huntington. In the HTT gene, a triplet CAG is repeated several times. In individuals affected with the disease, the number of times this triplet is repeated is abnormally high, keeping the protein it produces from functioning normally. This protein even appears to be toxic to brain cells. A genetic test can count the number CAG triplet repeats in each of the two copies of the gene. If both copies have 26 repeats or less, this person will never have Huntington's disease. If a person has one copy with less than 26 triplets and the other copy with 40 triplets or more, then this person will develop the disease. Furthermore, each of his children will have a 50% risk of inheriting the disease. Beyond 60 repeats, it is the juvenile form of the disease and the symptoms appear before the age of 20. In general, the higher the number of CAG triplet repeats, the earlier the age at which symptoms appear. However, current knowledge cannot predict the exact age at which the symptoms will appear or their severity. Furthermore, two people with the same number of repeats may start showing symptoms at different ages. The number of triplets stays identical throughout a person's lifetime, but it may vary when it is transmitted to the next generation. The descendant may receive an increased or more rarely a decreased number of triplets. 
For unknown reasons, this variation occurs more often when an affected father transmits the gene. In some families in which there is no family history of Huntington's disease, the HTT gene of one of the parents has between 27 and 39 CAG triplets. This situation is called a gray area and is divided into two parts, intermediate and reduced penetrance. The intermediate area. Currently, we know that a person who has between 27 and 35 CAG triplets will not develop symptoms of the disease. However, this number of triplets may vary when it is transmitted to the next generation. For example, an individual with 30 triplets unaffected may transmit a higher or smaller number of triplets to his children, example 28 or 33. The same phenomenon may be repeated with every generation until eventually a person inherits 40 triplets and presents symptoms of the disease. The reduced penetrance area. Out of all people who have between 36 and 39 repeats, only a small number will develop symptoms of Huntington's disease. These symptoms generally appear later in life, for example, after age 60, and tend to progress more slowly. We do not know exactly which proportion of people in this situation will develop symptoms and which proportion will not. However, the number of triplets may also vary when it's transmitted to the next generation. Therefore, if this number is 40 or more, the descendant will be affected with Huntington's disease in adulthood.